Well, what a day this is for us here. We've all been in tears all day. This is Al Vauder's final day here at Channel 4 after 28 years here, but it's been a 40-year career for you, right? Al Vauder, as you know, you may not have met his beautiful wife, Michelle, and we were just reflecting that uh, Michelle was a reporter years ago. The two of them met as reporters back in Dayton, Ohio. You're going to hear more about that on the 6 o'clock news. Please stay tuned for the 6 o'clock news because we'll have a long tribute to Al then and you'll learn a lot about him. Now, we've already had the mayor here declaring this as Al Vauder's Day. I know it's a tough day. Uh, you're like, happy, sad to leave. What's one thing you're looking forward to in retirement? Uh, sleeping late. <laughs> 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 I think we're all looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, my daughter lives out in California. She's married. They live out in California. My son is in Chicago. And we only get to see each other two, three times a year. So spending more time with family, doing those kind of our house, uh, we're updating our house. And so that is going to be a, a real undertaking. Big project. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you looking forward to, Michelle? Honestly, Jackie, having dinner with my husband before 9 p.m. That's the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is sitting down and having dinner before 9, 9.30 p.m. I so understand that. And you should know that Al stays here late every night answering your letters, your emails, those kinds of things. Um, this job has always been on his mind. And this now, as you say, gives you more time with your family. Well, Jackie, I, I just have to say, you know, I'm, I'm clearing my work area out now. And I've come across so many letters uh, that I received. I, I didn't even get a chance to open them up. Um, and, and that's one of the, re the regrets that I have. But other than that, I mean, being able to help people, I have felt I have a wonderful wife, wonderful kids, wonderful life. And for me, it's really been about passing it forward. And that's what I've been trying to do. And you certainly have done that. Let's talk about a couple of the stories. In fact, yesterday, let's, let's show a little of yesterday's story. We were all in tears here on the set when Al said, this is my last story, and this is exactly what Call for Action is all about. Right? Yeah, you know, I've, I've said so many times, they do all the work, and I get the glory by being on camera. But in this case, um, a mother with a developmental disabilities. She was a subject of a documentary almost 30 years ago. Uh, she had terminal cancer. Her son was trying. She said, one, before I leave this earth, I want to be able to see that documentary one more time. Son tried every place to get it. And finally, he called for action. And Ed over at Call for Action, <laughs> God bless him. He was, in fact, Ed didn't even, he, he thought he had failed. He called the guy up to say, I'm sorry I failed you. And he said, no, you didn't. I got the disc. And she saw it. Saw it before she died. Four, four days later, she died. Yes. Yeah. Bless you all. Uh, another story you wanted to talk about, Al, Build Academy. Tell me about that. Build Academy, this was back in 2005. These kids, in order to attend school, had to go past vacant houses, vacant lots, hypodermic needles, old dead trees, rats. And uh, the teacher, the, he was a math teacher, he said, you guys are going to find out the power of numbers when you want to get stuff done. So he had him write Mayor Massiello at the time. Busy guy. He didn't get a chance to get to the letters. So they gave a little bit of time. He says, OK, you're going to write out Vauders the same <laughs> letter, the same letter, and ask him to call for action. And I still have these letters from 2005. I went to Mayor Massiello. I said, Mayor, guess what story I'm doing tomorrow? And he said, no problem. He was out there on one of the backhoes himself. We got the mayor's the impact team exactly. out there the and got it cleaned out for these kids. Got it all cleaned up, yes. That is yes. great. Great yeah. call for action. I want to ask you about how people react to you um, in the community. You're so well known. What do people say? And Michelle, what, what do people say to him? You see it. Honestly, it doesn't matter where we are, if we're on the street, if we're in the grocery store, if we're at a, at a restaurant. They recognize how many people feel perfectly comfortable pulling up a chair and joining us. <laughs> <laughs> but do they, and, and do they bring their problems to them sometimes? They do bring their problems sometimes, but most of them are just very grateful for the work that he has done. Um, 
And uh, to all of them, to all of the viewers, I can't thank you enough no. for the respect that you've given Al, and most importantly, the trust that you've given him. Um, this man has the most integrity of anyone that I know. It's so true. I wish you could have seen earlier, and you will see little snippets of it, that this studio was filled with not only current News 4 employees, but many who have worked with Al over the years who wanted to be here and thought it was important. You would, you would recognize their faces, their names, Ellen Maxwell, Michelle McClintock, George Rickert, uh, Nancy Sanders, uh, so many folks like that have all been here to pay tribute to this man who, as I said, makes us all better, elevates our work, it has been a pleasure, a true pleasure, standing beside him. So now, Al, I want you to, well, first, two things. What I want to ask you, the strangest request you've ever had as a call for action reporter. <laughs> okay, so years ago, I had a, I had a voicemail message. A woman said that um, she had had an exorcism and it failed. <laughs> and so she was calling on me to resolve her problem that an exorcist couldn't resolve, and I didn't call. And her did back. you do it? I oh. didn't call. Her back. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll ne really never know how that story <laughs> ended there. But I do want to give you the opportunity to uh, talk to folks and tell them what's on your mind. After 28 years here. And Al has gotten to know so many people in this community, has helped so many people. Al, what would you like to say to our viewers? I would like to say to viewers, you know, this community welcomed us when we got here with open arms. Yeah. The, the, the best thing that I can say is, this is known for the, as the city of good neighbors. Be good neighbors. And we found out it, the strength of doing the call for action stories was you ha you, if you have neighborhood problems, organize your neighborhood and bring those to the politicians. That's how you get things done. And so that, and this whole thing has been an educational experience for me. I've been ripped off a few times. And so I've learned from my mistakes. You learn from your mistakes and, and <laughs> get a lesson from our, from our call for action stories that I've done over the years. My goal has been to educate folks. This is what to, the IRS is not going to, going to send you a text message to say you owe $200. That's just not going to happen. Yeah. Granny, when a grandmother gets a call from her grandson saying, I need bail money because I'm in Mexico and they've locked me up, call up your grandson yeah. and see where he is. Yeah. You know, just those kind of simple things. Use your head and, um, and, and be good to each other. Thank you so much, Al, for all you've shared with us all these years. This is Al Bauder's Day in Buffalo. The mayor was here, and he made it official. So, Al, we thank you so much. Sure. I do want to invite you again. Please stay tuned for the 6 o'clock news. We will have much more on Al's career there. Thanks for this. Thanks, Jackie. Thank Michelle, you. Thank you both. Thank you both. Todd, it's a sunny day on Al Vauder's Day. It is. Happy Al Vauder's Day. Just, I'm happy to be able to say that, uh, though we will miss Al, and there's going to be this giant pair of shoes that uh, who's going to fill it? We're not sure yet. But uh, 